they're covering up the progress with these blue tarps but uh, that doesn't seem to be working but uh, I bet you that's where he's at like he just like dead stared at me I can't put my name behind it so don't buy it no, I'm, I'm more concerned for my own safety because he didn't seem very nice it's hot in here today um, about out of, I'm about out of gas in my generator and I only have about four hours left of that to be able to run the air conditioner uh, so I'm trying to make do without as long as I can, but it's getting pretty toasty in here um, And I kind of feel bad for Mason. Mason, you doing okay, bud? You hanging in there? What is it at right now? 78? That's not horrible right there. I, I opened a window right here and there's a nice little breeze coming in So he's he's all right in his little spot, but he was up on the bed and it was it was just Several degrees warmer up there. It was just too much. It was too hot. Um, I don't know. I might even just go for a walk just to be outside in the breeze, I don't know. Ready to go for a walk? Hmm? It says that there's like a house or a property for sale down here, which I'm just curious at looking at. And I did see some guy last night drive by on a bicycle and I don't know where he would have came from because I was really unaware that there was anybody back here. So we're just gonna check it out and see what's back there. It's almost two o'clock, so I should be good if I turn on the air conditioner from here on out for the rest of the evening, but um, I don't know. If I can stay outside, then uh, I might not even have to run it at all. I don't know, it's not too bad out here. I mean, it's like I said, it's 85, but it's, it's not too bad with the overcast clouds and the little bit of a breeze. That sucker's huge. I don't know what I found right here, but I definitely have not seen this before. It says it's a federal mining claim. All right, so I'm gonna guess that People are digging out here looking for gold, obviously, or something. And they're covering up their progress with these blue tarps, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working. And in fact, if anything, it just looks like a horrible disaster out here. But maybe that's where the guy on a bicycle came from. Maybe he was back here, but I don't, I don't see anything that he would be staying in. I don't know. Ready to head back? You ever walk somewhere and not realize how far you actually walked? Yeah, apparently I walked a lot further than I thought. Mason already gave up multiple times. I've been carrying him, but uh, I'm almost back to the camper. I'll have some water for him. Cool off for a few minutes and uh, yeah, I'll get back with you. Bud, you ready to get up? I think we wasted enough of the day, huh? Yeah. We know, buddy. Huh? Just exploring? We 
AC. Okay, yeah, so that was the guy that rode by last night. So he was gone all night, I'm guessing, and then just now came back um, almost 24 hours later. And I didn't see anything back there that a person could be like camping in or anything. So I don't, I don't know what he's doing back there. Um, I might sneak the drone over there a little bit and see if there's a, a camper or something that I missed further back on the road. I mean, I don't want to get in the guy's privacy, but you know, I'm, I'm more concerned for my own safety because he didn't seem very nice uh, when he rode by. Then uh, I said hi. And he just stared at me and just rode by slowly on his bike. So, I'm going to see what he's up to back there. So I looked on the uh, drone footage and I, I didn't see anything back there, but looking on maps again, uh, there is an area right here. This is kind of where the road dead ends back there. And it looks like there's a little um, like gold mine shaft or something back here. I don't know if that's a little camper or if that's just part of the, of the mine shaft building or, or some kind of structure. But uh, I bet you that's where he's at. I didn't get bothered last night, so I'm just going to stay on guard tonight. And just make sure I've always got something near me to protect myself. And then I'll just try and enjoy the rest of the night. What do you think? It's pretty nice, huh? Alright. So I'm not going to lie. It's kind of creeped me out a bit. Um, it might be all in my head. And I know people, you know, are, are allowed to be out here to camp. And just because some guy rode by on a bike doesn't mean anything. I know all that. And I know I can already see the comments. Because I get these people that act like they'd be out here wailing their guns around, scared of nothing. But, um, you know, it's a little different when you're out here and you're so far, you know, you're so far away from people. And I'm not, I'm not worried at all about somebody coming up to me. I'm more worried about somebody hiding out just behind the trees where I can't see like the just behind the the line of light that I'm giving off here and uh, somebody just coming up on me and, and surprising me when I'm not waiting for it that's kind of what I'm worried about um, I don't know what it is like the way that the guy looked when he, he drove by uh, I don't know. 
Like he just like dead stared at me. He had yellow sunglasses on. The kind that I could still see his eyes. Almost like shooting glasses, something like that. Um, but the bike was not like a mountain bike. He wasn't out here exercising. Um, I don't know. And with there being like tailing piles and mine shafts back there, I'm kind of wondering if he's either doing something illegal, like panty for gold on somebody else's claim, or maybe he's stashing drugs or something back there, or something else. I don't know. So I'm, I'm finding it hard to just sit out here and relax. I'm trying to just chill with it and relax, but I don't know. At this point, I'm not packing up and leaving, but I probably should. Part of this video was going to be a review on a product. In fact, this product right here, it's called the Wemax Dice, and it's a pile of junk. I went and buy it. Uh, they gave me one about a month ago, and it worked for about a day, and then it broke. I thought it was a fluke. I let them know. They sent me this one. Um, this one worked for about 20 minutes. I even set up the screen and everything. Out here, I was going to enjoy you know some uh, TV or something YouTube while I was enjoying the fire uh, that was the plan but it stopped working and what both of them are doing is they just cycle on and off on and off every 15 seconds and that's it there's no reset button I can't figure out a way to fix it they're not letting me know of a way to fix it so it's junk um, after looking online it's not an isolated situation I guess other people have had the same situation and when they call to get refunds or whatever, um, I guess they're lacking on their end of that. So it seems like you would pay $1,000 for this and a screen. It'll stop working after a day or so, and then they're not going to answer the phone on their end, which, I don't know, maybe they answer it, maybe they just don't send the check. I don't know what it is exactly that they're not doing, but um, I definitely would never spend $1,000 on this because it's junk. Uh, they're going to be super mad that I said this, but uh, I can't put my name behind it. So don't buy it. Nothing fancy, but it's gonna taste good. Alright, so it's about midnight. Uh, I'm exhausted. He's tired. We're going to go to bed. So, good night. See you guys in the morning. morning I uh, just try to get some coffee and breakfast going and and uh, trying to clean up a little bit
Mason, you ready to get out of bed? Get some food right there, buddy. He's not having it. He's tired this morning. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm tired too, so. Let's see if it starts up, buddy. Last time the battery was dead. 